Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to actually go through my gig bag and see what I have inside of my bag. I recently had a gig and I realized how much crap I have in my bag. <laughs> and you just don't realize how much you start carrying around until you realize you, how much you start carrying around, right? So uh, we're gonna go through it, uh, see what I have, maybe see what I would need next time, what I don't need next time, and what I just finished buying in order to make my gig bag a little bit more organized. So here we go. So, okay, I use a um, carry-on luggage, like this one right here, my beautiful Samsonite, of which is now pretty dirty, but I love my suitcase because it has so many pockets and there's so many ways to just quickly access my stuff without going through my entire bag. So the first thing, so just keep in mind when I go through this, some of these things in here are because I was traveling a lot across the country or internationally to do dance events and I just didn't want to take it in and out of my bag and have an international bag and then have a local bag and then have a um, national bag so to speak so I just threw everything in at one point okay so I'm going to go through this first pocket and you can see my shit's lying around I was testing some stuff out so I just left it be so you can see this is how shit looks when we're really organizing our stuff it's not all neat it's not all pretty um so <laughs> The first thing I have in here is emergency. <laughs> so shit happens, man. I've been sick when I travel for dance and it's just crappy. And the last thing you want to be doing is looking for a place to buy medicine, CVS, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, whatever. I just kept it in my bag. Plus, it's a great way to get some vitamins in if you're feeling really depleted from like sweating a lot, only drinking water, not getting enough uh, minerals and vitamins and all that stuff. So this is the first thing, <laughs> first thing I have in here. Um, a random safety pin. Wait, there's more where that came from. And, oh, look, I have another, <laughs> I have another emergency. The other thing I have is my old phone. I have a 6S Plus. And the thing that I was using for, um, my 6s plus for is i always make sure that i have an emergency backup music system with me so i send my clients the file ahead of time but shit happens it always does so what i did was i put my playlist on here and i was made and i made sure that i knew what their play system was in order to make sure whatever i brought as a backup was compatible with what they have so if they have bluetooth I make sure it's on Bluetooth. I also bring a hard wire. Um, I took the hard wire out though because I had to put it back in my normal sound system. So I keep this around. And if it's not needed and you bring your person along with you, like your security person, your safety person, your prop person, they can take great video, right? And they don't necessarily need your phone if you need your phone for something else. So it's a backup camera essentially too. So uh, that's in there. <laughs> and then my fast charger um, for that phone because I hadn't plugged it in in a, a little bit. A random bobby pin. Sharpies. <sighs> Sometimes this comes in handy. I, you'll see, I think I have it in here. I have thank you cards um, for my, um, my clients. So I typically do thank you cards and I write, and I usually write those ahead of time in pen. But when shit happens, like I told you about, we have this. Also, I'm a product of the 80s and 90s. These are in my bag because I had backup CDs. Yes, CDs. So um, that's why there's it. And then I just didn't clean that shit out. And then I have a lock, a suitcase lock for when I need to check my bag in or I wanna make sure my stuff is protected. I will lock my bag and it's so easy to put your keys somewhere secure whether it's in your costume or someone or somewhere else. So I'm gonna just leave that right there for right now. The other thing, and so I leave this quick access because sometimes the technical issues, you don't even realize they happen until right when you go on. So I don't wanna dig through my bag to try and find my phone. This is why it's here. The other thing that, oh my gosh, I have so many things. This is a bag of sewing. 
Ugh. So many things. Sewing kit, along with rhinestones. Um, clear, I have carpet tape in here. Lord, um, I have buttons. <laughs> Why would you keep this entire thing? I don't know. Maybe because you have it for your sewing kit as well, right? That's all there. Um, elastic, more safety pins, of which I'm gonna put this one back in. More safety pins, bobby pins are in here. I am paranoid. If anybody has had any costuming <laughs> malfunctions, you know why I have what I have. So I have also more, I have a clip, hair tweezers. I don't even like the tweezers. I have another pair of tweezers I take. So I have two pairs of tweezers. I don't know why. And hair clips that I never use because it looks like it's from the 90s. Anyway, and then I also have scissors. I have more safety pins. I tell you what, if you needed a costume on the go, I'm your gal. I have enough safety pins to create you a costume. More needles, a thimble. My costumers would be so proud of me that I have a thimble. Scissors and a de-threader. So this is all in my clear bag. And I'm not the biggest fan of using um, single use bags, but the fact that they are clear and you can see everything that's in there is pretty damn amazing. Um, so I do love that. And I and you can see these bags are beaten up. So I'm not one to uh, use a bag once and then that's it. I definitely like to reuse my bags as much as possible. I also have tissues because when you're sweating, you're sweating. And when you're snotty, you're snotty. <laughs> Dance shoes that don't even fit my feet, by the way. They're too small, but they're better than nothing. So if I need an emergency pair of shoes, I have a black pair of shoes in here. You just never know. Another plastic bag, another plastic bag, ibuprofen, of which I will need to check the expiration date on that. Oh Lord, liquid Band-Aid, hell yeah. Liquid Band-Aid is amazing. I've cut my feet so many times and I put this on my foot and now I can feel more confident. I feel like an ad. I've cut my foot so many times, but when I put liquid bandage on, I feel amazing and now I'm able to gig. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my God. But seriously, it's amazing. So I have that because I cut my, I cut my feet. I cut my hands. I sliced my finger the other day. Oh God. A random plastic bag. Cause you never know when you need to put your bag in a sh your shit in a bag and then cough drops. Okay. So all of that is on the quick access portion <laughs> of my bag. Let's get into, um, opening this part up and then I'll get to that stuff. So um, I'm going to put this part right here on my lap. Oh my gosh. So first thing I make sure is that whatever I have in here, it's travel size. So I don't have to keep switching containers for uh, my product. Hairspray, 3.4 ounces. What is this? Mousse, volumizing foam, also travel size. Yo, static guard is the shit. You want to make sure you have it. Because when you're traveling and if you have to put, like when I used to do a lot of stage shows um, with troop mates or as a soloist and we were just hanging all of our costumes together, um, it would get staticky because it's all this friction of fra fabric, right, nearby. So having static guard has been a lifesaver. Baby powder. Oh, shit. This is the best thing ever. Obviously, don't inhale it when you put it out. But I have really clammy feet. And before I get on stage, I powder the bottom of my foot to absorb all the dryness and I can turn like butter. It is amazing. Really, really good. So I keep that handy. Deodorant. Y'all know if you dance with me, I ain't smelling too fresh after I dance, right? Sorry. Um, sorry, not sorry. I dance hard. What can I say? And then Febreze, same reason. <laughs> That's the deodorant and then wrinkle release. Oh my God. I have like a bottle for everything. So, but you just never know. I'm pretty sure I'm over the liquid limit. As you can see, there's like five or six bottles here, but that's okay for right now um, because I'm local. And then if I need to really take something out, I do, but I haven't really gotten stopped. Um, for my glasses, I wear glasses. Um, when I have to drive, I have disposable makeup pads. I have baby, they're turning yellow. 
apparently I didn't need them that often, <laughs> but I have baby wipes to wipe the bottom of my feet because gross if you're dancing barefoot. And then I have floss. <laughs> I used to have a travel. <laughs> I used to have a travel toothbrush. I don't anymore um, because I just use mine and I have like a travel cap that you just put over it. But floss, dude. If I can't brush, you can at least floss. Yeah, there's some crazy. So on this one, and then uh, I put the liquids obviously in this one because of the it sealing it in. I have my cover up, which is beautiful. So when I need my cover up, I have it. I also have a washcloth to sponge bathe. I know that's crazy, but when you're out and you smell bad and then you go out afterwards, like for um, uh, the lineup party or just like celebrating everything being done, you wanna stay clean. So, and then here we go. Y'all, this is, <laughs> this is the Asian part of me. <laughs> we keep everything. We keep the tags. I, I even wrote the date of when I bought this bag, seriously. So having all of this information has been not helpful at all, actually. <laughs> However, I'm still gonna keep it. So in this bag right here, and I say my Asian side because my whole mom's side is Vietnamese and we keep everything for the just in case, as well as plastic wrap everything just in case. If you are of Asian descent, you'll probably know what I mean. When you have plastic over your dining room table, you have plastic over your couches, yeah. I have business cards. Why do I have this many? I don't know, but I do. I have this many. So these are my business cards. And then here are the thank you cards I was talking about. I just have them on hand, ready to go, in case I didn't prep one ahead of time. That way I can thank my host, I can thank the person who hired me, right? I can thank um, the, uh, the sponsor, all of that stuff is ready to go. I just have it in here and when it gets low, then I refill it. So you have to go back and check your gig bag. You can't just not go back to your bag and make sure everything is there. So some of the stuff I wanted to share with you that I have recently purchased is this uh, jewelry case. So I love how flat it is because the other one that I have, it was layered in a way that it got really bulky very quickly. And I like this one a lot because everything lays flat. And even though it's a snap closed right here, not a zipper, everything is secured. So there's a zipper, 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 nothing is free flowing, but also this is for your earrings. Hello, that's amazing. There's already pierced holes in it. This is for your rings, all of that stuff. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this in general, obviously necklaces, all of it gets protected. It lays really flat and there's also a pocket right here. So I was like, this is an excellent buy. So this is, I got it from Amazon, Bag Smart. I got the small size. There's a mini, small and large, but I got the small size. Um, you'll notice that my big ass can of hairspray is here. This is all from a recent gig I did. That's why all this stuff is here. My mask, here's one that I used. And then I just finished buying two more. So like, I'm not gonna create my mask. I'm not gonna take the time to do it. However, I will support vendors that create beautiful masks. So this one, these two are from Natalie Mills. And this one is from Veteran Couture on Etsy. And Natalie Mills has her uh, a separate website. So Veteran Couture on Etsy, beautiful quality for both. Really, really nice quality. So this was like less than $10. And these two were uh, just over 30, including the shipping. Highly recommend those two vendors because I love it and they work really, really well. If you're going out afterwards and you have bunions or your feet hurt like me, I just I just got these ease, uh, high heel insoles. I haven't tried them yet from uh, Superfeet for my shoes afterwards because I have high arches and I have bunions. It's really hard to get my feet comfortable in my shoes afterwards, especially after dancing on my feet for so long. So I just got these, the bag organizers where it comes in like a six pack. And this one is from Vekin, V-E-K-E-N, and which is awesome, because I'm able to fit, I just took this out, the my pink outfit today. I took it out of here, but I fit three exercise daily outfits 
in here. So I'm buying these as uh, suitcase organizers so I can put all of my stuff in my suitcase without it just flying everywhere, which is annoying. So now I can have three outfits in here, which is awesome. So I just bought these PAX organizers. The other thing I have is sometimes if I lose water weight leading up to a gig, sometimes my even with the padding, my, my body changes, all of our bodies change. I keep these inserts from my sports bras and I use them where necessary. Um, I haven't had to use it because I just quickly um, adjusted my bra for the gig, but I had lost a little bit of weight. And so, but I keep these around for padding um, in case I need to fill because there's weight loss, you didn't get a chance to alter your costume, all of that stuff. I don't recommend that you use this as the default because accidents happen and you don't want this little bra cutlet falling out of your shit, right? So that would be horrifying. So we don't want that to happen. Um, but I do have it as a backup in my bag. The other thing that's cool with these bag organizers, I fit two costumes, y'all, in this bag. And it fits in this bag with my other bag. And now my costumes are protected versus banging up against everything. So I fit my belt, I fit my bra, I fit, this is a scarf and the bra, and my skirt right here. I fit legit, fit all of this in here. It was amazing. And then I put it in my bag and it was very neatly protected. So I'm very grateful. And there was still room for my veils. So I was like, oh, hell yeah. And in this one I got from Vecan, it's that like marble one. There's a shoe bag, a laundry bag, and then two larger bags. So you're gonna by far have enough space. Um, I came, I had clips in my hair. So that was <laughs> in my bag. My Zills, I actually typically keep a pair of Zills in my bag ongoingly. That is a universal sound Zill because in case I forget my Zills or all of a sudden I wanna do Zills or you just have an opportunity to do sales, then I have mine ready to go. Even if I didn't pack it, there's one in my bag. So um, I love Zills and I love performing with Zills, so it always makes me happy. So that's one of the things I have in there, in addition to a veil. So I have a spare veil, always bring a veil. I always bring Zills, um, or I always remember that they're packed in here because you just never know. Just like the dance shoes, right? You're being prepared for all of these. The other thing that I brought is um, a sound system. So when your client sound machine kind of goes to poop, it's kind of crappy because you want really good sound. But if you can't get it for whatever reason, you have something, right? So this is a Bose um, SoundLink, mini SoundLink sound, wait, Bose SoundLink Mini, the second version, it's pretty robust. So I wrap this gently and I put it in here. This is not something I would take internationally or anything like that, but this is something I would take locally to my local gigs, right? And I've even brought before my, pers my portable PA system of which you would arrange with your client ahead of time, charge the necessary charges when you bring your own equipment. Um, but I bring this because the worst thing is to not have a great sounding system when you're gigging. So I have this along with the charger with me. So, and then of course, a hair clip. So this is just some of the stuff that I have in my bag right now. Some of the stuff that I would consider bringing along that I don't have is my water bottle, my eyeglasses <laughs> case, um, my makeup bag would go in here and I would have makeup wipes in here, absolutely, to touch up, have everything I need in here. I had taken that out, it's actually in the bathroom over there. Um, so that's something I would have. I would refresh any items for next time that is needed. So like, where is it? My baby wipes that turned yellow, making sure the ibuprofen is up to date. Um, having another set of ballet slippers, these are just emergency, right? Like it's not something that I want to continually use. This is like, wow, if I, just in case I need it, I would typically pack 
my actual dance shoes and being mindful of that. And um, maybe something else I would also have that I would put in one of my packing pieces is my outfit that I'm going to be uh, putting on after I leave my gig or at the end of my gig. I want my shoes, I want to look really nice when I show up on a site, and I also like to show up in clothes and leave with clothes that uh, represent my brand, represent me professionally. And when I show up there, I also typically wear a dress so it doesn't leave any lines. So I try not to wear pants unless they're really loose fitting and they don't leave any lines. And but typically I really like the dress <laughs> because it's just one piece whoosh, and it's off, right? And then just make sure that you run through. Okay, this is what I always think about. At the very minimum, as long as I have boom, 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 I can do the gig. All of this other stuff is like really smart to have, but not necessarily necessary for you to do it, the gig. Do I have all of my costume? Do I have all of the props I promised? Do I have um, music, right? I consider music a necessity because things can go wrong so quickly or you have a way of having your host reaccess the files in a different way in case the first way didn't work. So I'm always thinking about backups, but at a minimum, if I have my full costume and I have everything I s promised my client or the sponsor that I would have, as long as I have those, I'm good to go. So. Hope you enjoyed going through my gig bag with me. I need to update some stuff, add some stuff in, probably take some stuff out, but I would love to hear what's in your dance bag and what you found that you were surprised to find and uh, what you would do and change your bag and update it. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful time at your next gig. Mm -hmm.